Hey, welcome to another episode of the Masters of Movement. I'm CEO of Power Athlete, John Wellborn. And if you like what you're listening to today, I want you to smash the like and subscribe button. For today, we have an amazing movement to not only train your legs, train your back, but help you blow your squat through the roof. This one's important to us because it is named for our good friend, Dr. Fred Hatfield, AKA Dr. Squat. We are gonna take you through the Hatfield Squat. I'm gonna move over here to our good looking demo guy demo person, Mr. McQuilkin, who's got it set up. Now to execute this movement, you're going to need a safety squat bar. Uh, we pulled this one out of the archives. This is one of the original bars that Dr. Hatfield used and we're excited to have it. So Mr. McQuilkin's gonna set up into a good position. The other thing you're gonna need is a set of handles. The reason we like this is that it allows us to overload the legs, which all too often end up being a limiting factor due to a weakness in the back, in the glutes, and other places. So it really allows us to overload the legs. Now what most people end up doing is grabbing those handles like they're on a roller coaster, leaning back and doing what I call the roller coaster dive bomb, where they sit back as far as they can, holding the handles, trying to leverage. What I want you to do is put your hands into position, and I want you to float those fingers like you're playing keys or you're floating the ivories. From there, I want Mr. McQuilkin to set up in a good squat position. Feet are gonna be shoulder width good position within his trunk and he's going to squat back down good and come back up if you see he's actually getting a ton of positive shin angle trying to get those knees over the toes i don't want him to pause in the bottom we want a nice smooth transition on that accentuation phase and he's really driving up if you notice his head he's kind of trying to keep a good neutral graze kind of heading down about six feet in front of him he's not peeling his neck up because if you didn't do that you're going to shoot the bar off your back now from this position, he can really overload the legs by using the hands to just assist that ever so much to allow him to really stack the weight on and get a great movement. Uh, we use this a ton in the NFL. I used it in college. Your shoulders get beat up. You all of a sudden start having some different uh, injuries and the Hatfield squat was a lifesaver and a staple within my training in the NFL. How's it feel, Mr. McQuilkin? Beautiful. Excellent. Hey, thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Masters of Movement. If you want more information like this, I want you to go to powerathletehq.com. If you go to YouTube, you can just enter Power Athlete, Dr. Squat, and you can hear the amazing interview we did with him for the Talk To Me Johnny on the long road. Thanks for tuning in. See you.